Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 5 of Modern Warfare 2 slash Warzone. And uh, we're here to check out all the new stuff with the Battle Pass, new content here, right? New rewards and uh, shop items. There's a brand new Tracer Pack, guys, so we're going to check that out really quick right now. Actually, we'll do that real we'll do that first, and then we'll go to straight to the Battle Pass, alright? Obviously, the Battle Pass comes with the Black Cell as well, the new Black Cell Battle Pass uh, combination or combo, right? Pack. Uh, but there's also actually two new packs here that we can check out really fast so starting off first guys is the chrome and pixels uh tracer pack or just bundle new bundle and uh, with the opera skin for harangi and uh, the that's called death frame all right and it has that skull uh i guess display look on the uh on the helmet um, but it comes with three different tracer pack or tracer round blueprints uh first off is for the chrome and squall the chrome smasher all right. Next up is for the ISO 45, which is the, kind of like the UMP 45, the under pressure. Also, I like the color designs and it's that it's reactive, really a plus plus. Uh, next up if it's for a pistol, the P890 called the agitator. And both are not both, but all three of these come with a the tracer slash impact of Azure slash tech and with the death effect of denied. So let's check this out. This is for the first one, the Cronin Squall, right? Oh, okay. I like it. It's a little bit very anim animated, you know? It looks good. It looks good. Next up is for the ISO. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like the death effect at the end. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's similar to the one that Black Noir had, kind of. And plus, there's a bunch of other ones that also have that little death effect here. Yeah, it has, shows that like, cross or X sign, right? Uh, okay, so moving on, guys. We got the Meteor Shower Vehicle Skin for the Helicopter. Uh, we have the Weapon Sticker Goose Light. And the last two is the Loading Screen called Mirrored. And the Emblem of Source of Power. Uh, but yes, this bundle goes for 2400 I think it's a great, great deal. The fact that it comes with three uh, three different blueprints that come with Tracer Pack and Death Effects, and you get an, uh, an Operator Skin. Great deal. This is a really, really good deal. But let's move on to the next bundle. This pack in particular is a Tracer Pack uh, Penumbra. And this is for the brand new AR, which is the FFAR, right? So that's in the Battle Pass you can get for free, or you can pay 2000 uh, kind of points to unlock it really quick or you can get the black cell which most likely will give you it really quick to as well uh, but this one is solely only one blueprint with a bunch of rest of the rewards uh, but this one comes with a tracer slash impact of white slash smoke and the death effect of dismemberment which i already know i already told you guys that that's my favorite uh type of death effect is the dismemberment and the fact that this comes with it great stuff it also comes with a certain uh reticle Okay, yeah, see, there you go. I mean, we barely know what they look like. But the difference between this one is this comes with a universal wrap. So it means the Onyx Pitch Blueprint skin applies to all FR Advancer attachments. So it can apply to any type of attachment that you want. Uh, usually, next up is the Voronoi, Vor Voronoi Cube Weapon Charm. Uh, we have the Weapon Sticker of Vault Keeper. And another loading screen of Destination Chaos. And lastly, we have the emblem Shadow Company. So this is a Shadow Company blueprint or bundle, but the tracer pack. And like I said before, it's kind of odd that it's only for the weapon, but I, I understand. And it just goes for 2,000 COD points. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the two new bundles here. But let's go straight to the battle pass, all right, and check out all that's new here. So let's begin checking out all these rewards, guys, from the beginning, from the very start to the end. And for the instant rewards, you get Graves, you get a new Operator Skin, Oz, you get two new weapon blueprints, and you get, finally, or the first thing is, the obviously, the boost, the XP boost, right? Those are the instant rewards. Um, but let's go ahead and keep going with the other stuff, and the other stuff is, uh, starting off with E2. We got Vehicle Skin, we have a brand new loading screen, we have uh, Calling Cards, we have uh, XP Tokens, and the last one is a nice blueprint castle fall for the submachine gun battle 46 which is the mp7 uh weirdly enough it's like flipped for some reason but that's okay uh, so we have that uh the gold stuff that you can see around that's pretty much the black cell uh stuff that you would unlock and also there's other black cell stuff in general 
but for right now guys uh, let's go check this one out first or here which we're, which we are right now currently on and you do get a weapon blueprint at the end which is for the ar but the black cell one is different and you get a tracer pack round which the black cell i think is a really good deal right now because there's so many different um uh, tracer rounds tracer packs in them in it that's inside of it but uh we get a loading screen we get uh, again xp tokens we get the uh logos or emblems right uh calling cards and so forth so you get all that stuff in one and two but let's go to three and three we get a new blueprint for a wet handgun which is i believe the p890 i think it's the deagle might not be the deagle here we get a nuts emblem for price we got xp tokens we get a brand new calling card for shadows this is all about shadow company this season and a bunch of other xp tokens that we can grab ourselves uh, let's go to four again four we have cod points we have a calling card we have an emblem we have a nice vehicle skin for one of our vehicles uh, we have the threes company because it's all about shadow company still but we got an emblem there um, a loading screen. I think there's two loading screens or just one's a the first one's a calling card Then the, this one right here is a loading screen um, But then we also like I said before we do get the cannonade uh, vehicle skin For the fifth page guys we're the E5. We do have an upper skin for Alejandro a Brand new one here, but we also have obviously large decals. We have some a lot of different free things, right? So we have the charms We have a blueprint for the LMG the Seiken MG 38 and lastly, we have some cod points right there. So that's that page. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. There's two new weapons here. I believe it's two new weapons. Two brand new weapons. Uh, I believe it's going to be three with another melee or a knife. But then there's going to be two more weapons coming out uh, mid-season. So stay tuned for that one. But let's go ahead and check out E number six. So E6, we got a brand new skin here for Mila. Uh, then we also have a finishing move. And we also have some free stuff, which is cod points. We get free cod points there. Uh, we have a new blueprint here for the fennec which is very looking very nice i like the color very bright uh, we also have a weapon sticker popping up here but again, like i said before i wish we could preview said finishing moves but this is a brand new one that's added here in the battle pass so for number seven guys we're going to be jumping in here with the first brand new weapon which i'm sure a lot of people w weren't expecting because we haven't seen this weapon in such a long time i believe the last time we saw this weapon i believe if i'm correct uh, it might have been Black Ops 1, because we saw it in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1, and poof, ever since then, I don't think we've ever seen it again. But the character 300, which is basically the WA2000, uh, and it's a sniper rifle, it's a semi, and uh, it's free. You can get it, unlock it for free, just go through the tiers and uh, unlock it yourself. Uh, next, and once the season ends, if you don't unlock it, you can unlock it for free within a challenge, a multiplayer challenge, I think, or a mul I think you do also Warzone challenge, there we go. Large decals over here. We have charms, XP tokens, and lastly is a nice weapon sticker that includes the boy price. But yeah, that is the first new weapon, like I said before. Uh, next up is the next weapon, funny enough, on E8. The brand new weapon, the FR of Answer, which is basically the FFAR. And most likely, I know there's people thinking, is it going to be automatic? I was thinking it was, if it was going to be automatic or if it's going to be burst. Most likely nowadays with the modern cons, you can always change it to uh, the certain weapon, depending on the weapon. Either assault, uh, automatic or semi or it can be burst or whatnot. So most likely this weapon will go from either burst or to automatic, most likely. But like I said, again... This comes with this whole section comes with large decals, so charms, XP tokens, and we also have the queen. I think the king was price, but we have the queen here sticker, weapon sticker. And uh, yeah, so that's that. So those are the two new weapons right here, guys. Uh, moving on to E9, we do have the king, which is the upper, like I said, upper skin for price. Brand new. He's got his beanie on and everything, looking all stealthy. Uh, we have a new weapon vehicle skin right here. A new blueprint for one of the sniper rifles that we have, and it's called the Lordship. And it's a brand, it's a free one. And then we have cod points and XP tokens uh, given there for free. Uh, E10, we have a brand new skin. I believe it's for yeah. I was gonna say it's Valeria, and yeah, we have a new skin, the Queen for Valeria. So the Queen, Valeria is the Queen, and the King is Captain Price. Um, pretty cool. I don't know if I like the hoodie too much, you know, but the rest of the outfit looks pretty damn good. Uh, she looks good with the outfit, and um, a lot of these characters look pretty good. So far, Price looks good. You know, Hunter got a new skin, right? The little stealthy skin. That one looked really nice, too. Uh, we have vehicle skins. We have XP tokens and COD points. And this one in particular, I do like this blueprint because, I mean, come on, it's red. 
right? Come on now. But it's for the Tempest Razorback, which I believe was the last most recent DLC weapon that we had before the season began. And it looks good. I like it. I'm a fan. Uh, let's go to the 11, guys. Again, we have a bunch of... Oh, God. We have a bunch of XP tokens. Actually, this is a... Yeah, just about a Battle Pass tokens uh, tokens in general. And the COD points. And lastly is... goes Or last one is the blueprint for one of the LMGs. The Icarus. Called the Regicide. All right. Oh, so, moving on to 12. We do have another Operator skin. A lot of these skins are going off of uh, chess pieces. So, we have the Rook, which is for Ghost. And Ghost looking pretty cool here. It's got different blueprints and free stuff. We have COD points. We have charms. A new blueprint here for the Chimera, uh, the Stonebreaker. And we also have the Rook, obviously, the weapon sticker. So each, they each get a weapon sticker. They each get a new skin, depending on the uh, type of uh, piece that they are, they are, I guess, labeled as, right? Um, but that was, uh, yeah, that one was really cool. That was actually 17, so my bad. I know we're jumping out of order here. Uh, but let's go to the, to the next one here. Uh, we have, obviously, card points. We have XP tokens. We have a brand spanking new calling card. And we also have a emblem called the Castling. Uh, but lastly, is a nice blueprint. I think it looks really cool. It kind of throws me back a little bit to ghosts with the color, the color scheme here. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, but this is property of Shadow Company, so beware, guys. But yeah, this is a new uh, ISO 45 uh, weapon blueprint. All right. Looks good. I like it. I actually kind of like that one. That one's, I think, my more favorite uh, looking skin besides the red one that I mentioned earlier. Third team, we have the Bishop, which is another piece. Uh, and this is for Alex. Uh, another piece that I guess they're playing a part as. <laughs> a chess piece, right? Uh, we have a brand new free uh, weapon blueprint that goes for the P90. I call it the P90, but it's, yes, I know it's the PDSW. Uh, to Chaturanga, if I'm saying that right. We have our XP tokens, and we have uh, obviously a large decal and a vehicle skin for the boat, uh, the Bishop's Duty, uh, and the last one is the Bone Wake for the vehicle skin. Looking pretty cool so far. Pretty good stuff, gotta say. Uh, let's go to 14, or actually, let's go to 15, and then we'll go to 14. Let's, let's do it backwards here. Uh, we have some card points. Obviously, we have some ghost stuff here. We have uh, calling cards and emblems here. We have ghost 141. And obviously, this one's kind of, wow, this one's a nice, crazy throwback. Wow, wow, why would they put this here? I don't know why they're putting this here, but it's loose ends. Look at the background, guys. If you guys don't know, I mean, how could you not know? That is from the OG Modern Warfare 2 insane that they put this in why would they put this in and it's a free calling card uh for us to obtain wild just wild but we have a new blueprint here obviously and a new vehicle skin here but the blueprints for the sniper rifle spx 80 it's called no shelter looking pretty cool i do like the color in this one's like black and orange i do like black and orange black and red black and blue it's, it's they're good combinations you know good color combinations in general uh this is the more interesting skin to unlock here there's a whole get up here on she's got a new outfit a new mask uh, that's put on that she has on and uh, she's also utilizing one of the blueprints that we saw earlier right but there's a vehicle skin here there's a weapon blueprint here which is also based off of the shadow company i guess ski uh theme right uh but this is for the tech b so it's a tech the, the, yeah the tech b uh weapon blueprint and obviously since it's rose bishop she gets her charm and she gets her weapon stick that you can use on your weapon or you put onto your weapon right so there we go that is 14. uh we saw going on to 16 guys we have some cod points here we have a vehicle skin we have a sniper rifle blueprint here which again it's 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 equipped with the shadow company uh theme right the the color scheme which i, I actually really like and, and looks really cool um, but we have two free things here again the blueprint we have the calling card we have the emblem here and lastly is a vehicle skin that i think looked pretty badass i mean it's, it's a good fitting skin for the way for the vehicle and uh yeah that is 16 we saw 17 already so let's go ahead and go straight to 18 we're almost done here guys um we have a new skin for the belican uh, operator skin the belican uh, it's got that cool looking mask or helmet on right but this one comes with cod points this one comes with a free uh, large decal, and this is the Rook, I guess is the Rook, right? Because, I mean, the decal is the Rook, right? But, uh, we have a new shotgun blueprint for the Bryson 890 Kaisa, Kaisa, Kaisa? Uh, very cool, black and red, I mean, I love it, it looks really, really good. But, also a finishing move, I and if, if I did not say that, we have the cra cranial crack. This looks like it's gonna be very hardcore, 
um, brutal, if you ask me, or brutal looking. Though, let's go ahead and move to the last two blueprints, guys, or sorry, the last two tiers here uh, that we can check out, a couple of tiers. Uh, we have a brand new uh, blueprint, obviously, for the new weapon that we're receiving this season uh, for the FFAR. I'm going to call it the FFAR or the FAMAS, right? Uh, we have that. We have XP tokens or weapon tokens, right? We also have the new skin or weapon, or sorry, vehicle skin for the War, or it's called War Ghost. Uh, looking pretty badass, I gotta say. Um, I do like the design on this one. Looks really cool. And we do have some free stuff here besides the loading screen that you can get on the far left. Uh, we do have a weapon sticker, the Cavalry 5. And uh, lastly, guys, that is almost we're, almost, we're basically done here because now we're going to go to tier 20 and then we get the final rewards. Uh, but here we got obviously emblems, we have weapon stickers, we have a new vehicle skin here, and we also have a new blueprint for this for a sniper rifle, which is the brand new sniper rifle, new sniper rifle that doesn't look like the sniper rifle that uh, we get to unlock for free. Uh, but it's called the Breath Taker, again, using utilizing that theme that color right uh looking pretty badass i like it. i like this color scheme too uh but again we got loading screens we got large decals and so forth here uh that shows off the teams and whatnot uh so that was tier 20 and uh going on with the completing the battle pass once you complete it you get a couple things which are pretty cool uh, we get cod points obviously you get the emblems and you get the final rewards that are not the black soul unless you get the black soul one but you do get a new skin for graves which is him wearing the uh shadow 01 skin uh and you also get a new skin for oz and which is onslaught okay which is cool looking as well this one looks really cool i mean the black cell one looks even badass because it's black and gold but i mean i i'm sorry but i gotta take the regular one because it's red and black and it looks really cool and just to even and to make it even more badass guys that's the, that's the guitarist for my favorite my favorite my all-time favorite band five freaking death punch um great stuff it's i mean it's awesome it's awesome that he's here i, I couldn't believe it when i saw that when i read that uh, but also you do get a new bl blueprint called the grand master for the ffar or the, you know the ar that we get for free and uh it looks cool again black and red looking really awesome and it's gonna be great utilizing this blueprint with set operator oz so but yeah ladies and gentlemen that is it for the content here in the battle pass though don't let me distract you here don't get distracted guys because there is a three things happening this season which is crazy because this season only has 55 days though there's multiple things happening so on the on either side in the first tier you get you get two different things one is for for one faction the other one's for the other faction and you get and it starts in two days it's a new event that will begin in two days uh, just getting ready for that weekend event right uh, and the next thing is in 27 days it's classified but i don't know if that's the reveal date for the new call of duty or that could be just complete something completely different. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if that's the new stuff for uh, the new Call of Duty. But for right now, yeah, those are the three new things and that's will, will be upcoming this season. As the final things to talk about here and the last things to mention is one that I should have mentioned probably in the beginning, so my bad, is the UI. The beginning UI or the menu UI, they did change. So for Modern Warfare, it used to be just three, just simple one, and you choose one by one. But now it's like in big block. So once you choose Modern Warfare, that's it could be Modern Warfare multiplayer, ground war, like any any part of the base Modern Warfare stuff, right? Uh, we also have the Warzone side of things, which is completely free. Warzone and DMZ are completely free. So you get to choose either like any type of playlist or mode from Warzone from here or just go off of there. And that's, you know, you're playing, you're jumping into Warzone. And uh, yeah, just those two here really quick. And obviously you get the featured playlist type of things. But let's go ahead and go straight to multiplayer because there is brand new up updated playlist, guys. And there's two new maps to check out this season, which are great. And I will be getting guys gameplay for that. Uh, the two new maps are Strike and Punta Mar. Both are having the 24-7 playlist or 24-7 play I guess uh, love here uh, showcasing both maps, right? Obviously, Strike we've seen that's an OG map from Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4. I'm going to Call of Duty Mar, which is a completely new map, um, and it's. I mean, I hope it's really good. I hope this one is really good because it's a brand new one and it's not based off of any like battle royale section and whatnot. So hopefully, it does really good. And and if it is really good, props to them 
for bringing out something like new content here. Uh, but we, also have, we also have two modes, okay? Big capture the flag, which is capture the flag in normal mode, which we, uh, which I don't think I've personally played a lot of in the last couple of Call of Duties. The big difference here is that, it, is that it's going to be 20 versus 20, and I don't, I don't know how I feel about that, but it kind of reminds me of a big team battle from Halo. I'm sure if you guys have played Halo, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just very, very, it might, it might feel like Halo, but just COD, you know, COD version of it. So there we go. And lastly is Havoc, brand new mode and just new modifiers. So basically you play any mode or whatever mode it is, TDM, Domination, whatever. But throughout that, there's no, I believe there's no kill streaks, I think. And there's modifiers. So throughout, throughout the matches, depending on how many kills you get or your team has, uh, it'll be mod like the match will get modified with certain modifiers and I think there's a total of like 12 different modifiers that they'll be like switching back and forth with uh, So there we go and the final thing to talk about here guys is the DMC side of things and so that was a which which caught me by surprise and that's the fact that they did not uh, Reset everyone again. So your miss missions and your upgrades and stuff like that Right and the stuff that you had acquired that's in your wallet or just money in your wallet or just um stuff in your like that stashed away or contraband stuff all that's still here all of that's still here they did there's only two big things that they did and that is one of them being they added a brand new section in the missions list which obviously is because of the whole season right so that's based off of and that's shadow company and that which there's a lot of missions and a lot of tiers to go through and levels and so forth to level up said shadow company uh, missions right um, and to go along with this update, it's not just the missions uh, and different the variety of missions, but it's also uh, a bunch of new equipment. And no, the equipment is not available for you to equip, uh, like field upgrade and stuff like that, right? Uh, you would think maybe, but no. Apparently, all that stuff is uh, in game or when you jump into DMZ. So depending on where which map you play on, it could be a Sheikah, Vondal, Amaz, Al Mazra, whatever, or even Building Twenty One. I'm assuming. Uh, you'll find these equipments or these field upgrades right specific only on, uh, like in game uh and that is going to be it for the video if you guys did enjoy press the like button guys i like it so it's appreciated thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the support and i uh, just want to cover all the new content here that's in or that, that just came in for call of duty modern warfare 2 slash warzone 2 or just warzone right uh and it looks good it looks good great stuff on the uh packs that they release in the store they look really cool uh but not just that i, I gotta say these different modes might be very interesting to check out and also the multiplayer maps uh definitely like that is the new season five of modern warfare 2 slash warzone i just want to cover all the new content again and the new, new playlists and the new tiers and all that stuff looking pretty good and all that's it guys for this video season five is here it's crazy. It looks good. A bunch of new content here added to Modern Warfare 2. Great stuff. I can't wait to check that out. And yes, I'll get you guys gameplay on that. Jumping into Strike or Puntamar. So we'll see what happens, guys. But yeah, that's it, guys. Take care. Stay amazing. I'll see y'all with the next video.